Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin complexions, it can be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are rounding up the 10 sunscreen that we've reviewed so far to really see which one is a better bang for your buck. All of these sunscreens already have their own time to shine and their very own review videos, so if you miss any of them or you want more information, check the series Sunscreen for Dark Skin I will link it down below. Make sure you are subscribed and click the bell to be notified every time you put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm a little tablet with all my information. As I've rated these sunscreens, I've kept 10 qualities in mind. This is my personal opinion of what amounts to a good sunscreen for me. I'll have them listed here on the screen. And so I've always skipped over price and quantity because it's not enough to just look at one product. You have to line them all up and really see which one is the better bang for your buck. It takes into account how much product you're using, how much product you're getting, and how much it costs you per use. I've used this equation specifically for sunscreen, but you can use this on basically any product that you're purchasing to see if it's worth the money. I've always given this a rating of one just to make it even across the board, but we'll be readjusting these ratings for price and quantity. The first sunscreen we looked at was the Black Girl Sunscreen Ultra Sheer 30 SPF Broad Spectrum for $18.99 Canadian, and it came with 89 milliliters. It is a chemical SPF. So this one is made for all skin types, in my opinion, except for oily skin, because it's kind of like shiny, but they do have a matte version. This is the Make It Matte. I have yet to try this one, but if you guys want to see this in a review, let me know. This was the first one that I reviewed, so it wasn't like the rest of the reviews that I did afterwards. We made price and quantity two different categories, but now we're going to just put them together. Readjusting for the brand, uh, the, it's a black owned brand, it's unisex, it's fragrance free, it's for all skin tones. It is reef safe, vegan, cruelty free. Did I say that already? I don't think so. It is a drugstore um, price. It's available, you know, in drugstores. And it has international shipping as well. So for a brand, I'm readjusting, giving that a point. So for the daily cost average, you're supposed to be using 0.04 fluid ounces on your face. This is two finger lengths worth of product. The product comes with three fluid ounces. So three ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 75 days. 18.99, which is the cost of the product, divided by 75 days is equal to 0.25 cents every time you use this. Now understanding that this is if you're using it once per day. I have not factored in if you're reapplying with this particular product because I know that a lot of people reapply with different products. So I've always ever made it out of one. So you can put this at two if it's something that you're going to be using twice a day. The second sunscreen we looked at was the Anua 5-0 Mild Sun Cream with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 four pluses. It is 32 Canadian dollars and it comes with a standard 50 milliliters. So this one is a physical sunscreen. It's made for combination oily and normal skin types. It comes with 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 42 days. 32 Canadian divided by 42 days is equal to 0.76 cents every time you use this. We are The third sunscreen that we looked at is the Etude House Sun Prize Mild Waterly Light SPF 50 Plus PA Plus Plus Plus, that's three pluses. It retails for $15.99 and comes with 1.76 fluid ounces. This one was a chemical SPF based on the ingredients. This sunscreen was extremely lightweight and it really felt like skincare instead of just like an SPF. For this one, it's for dry skin, normal, and combination skins. And apparently I couldn't count, so the criteria was actually out of 11. So I have readjusted this one instead of bridging the two categories. So this one comes with 1.76 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 44 days. The price $15.99 divided by 44 days is equal to 0.36 cents every time you use this.
The fourth sunscreen that we looked at is Yavino Hydrate and Protect SPF 50 for $17.99 Canadian. It came with 88 milliliters worth of product. And this one was also a chemical SPF. So this one was made for all skin types, even sensitive ones. And I did note that if you have really oily skin, this may be one to stay away from because it does leave a sheen just like the, the BGS one. But this one is super packed with oats. So really, really good for anybody with sensitive skin, eczema, things like that. This can be really soothing for you. It comes with 2.97 fluid ounces uh, divided by 0 0.04 fluid ounces is equal to 74 days. The price is $17.99 divided by 74 days, which is equal to 0 0.24 cents. The fifth sunscreen that we looked at is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30 for $17.99 with 89 milliliters. So this one was also a physical SPF. It's a really basic sunscreen. Many people enjoy this one and have had very, you know, easy use with it, but um, I personally didn't. This was my least favorite sunscreen, I would say, actually, because it was extremely hard to blend. It was a thick consistency and you have to do a lot for it to look good. And I just, I don't have time like that in the morning. That's my personal opinion. Um, this one is definitely suited for people with nor normal to oily skin. If you have more dry skin, it's going to be much more difficult, I think, to blend it out. So this one is three fluid ounces divided by 0 0.04 fluid ounces is equal to 75 days. The price is $17.99 divided by 75 days is equal to 0 0.24 cents every time you use it. So The sixth sunscreen that we looked at is the Cosarax Aloe Soothing Sun Cream with SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus, that's three pluses. This sunscreen is a chemical SPF. It was very moisturizing and really calming to the skin. This happens to be one of my favorite sunscreens and I use the heck out of this product. Um, it's made for dry, oily, combination, acne prone and sensitive skin. I really, really did enjoy the ingredient list of this product. It, it comes with 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0 0.04 is equal to 42 days. The price, which is $20 divided by 42 days, is equal to 0 0.47 cents every time you use it. The next sunscreen that we looked at is the La Roche Posay. I love saying that. Anthelios Invisible Fluid SPF 50 Plus for 29 Canadian dollars and 50 milliliters worth of product. This one was also a chemical SPF. It's made for all skin types. It has a very milky, lightweight consistency. This is a true like liquid sunscreen, but it does have a slight grainy finish that eventually goes away. But you know, something to note. It will be on your hands. So this one came with 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 42 days. The price is $29 divided by 42 days is equal to 0.69 cents per use. This one's a little pricey. The next sunscreen that we looked at is the Dr. V Inzinkable SPF 50. This was a first impressions video. Uh, it retailed for 24.99 euros. At the time, the conversion was $38.93 Canadian for 50 milliliters worth of product. Now, this video was a first impressions video. I've since received the actual product. It looks like this. And I do have a little try on that I'll put here on the screen so I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, I did an updated daily cost average based on the official price that was released. This one is a lot pricier than all the other ones, most likely because of the conversion um, to get it over here from Europe. But I do find that it is a really good physical sunscreen if that is something that you're really looking for. One thing to note about this one though, is that when you first put it on, it will have a little bit of a sheen it's a physical sunscreen. There's only so much that you can do with it. Um, but after a couple of minutes, it does dry down. It does soak down into your skin and it actually finishes quite nicely. This product wasn't released at the time of doing this video. So I don't think I gave it a point um, for packaging. I think I just left it blank. But this one definitely resembles the Shishida one with the whole like twist lock cap like we said before. It has a little nozzle so it does help it avoid any type of like spilling or mess or anything like that. With this one because of the shape you can't really cut 
into it like I usually do with tube type of products, which I really love that you can just cut it and like take a popsicle stick and get every last drop. You can't really do that with this. Um, so not my favorite thing, but um, it is sleek enough to put in your purse with you, travel with it, it's all that good stuff. I haven't experienced any issues with it spilling or anything like that. Number nine, we have the Misha Sun Milk SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 for 36 42 Canadian with 50 milliliters worth of product. This one is a chemical sunscreen. It came with 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 42 days. 36.42 Canadian dollars is the price divided by 42 days, which is equal to 0.87 cents every time you use this product. So And the last sunscreen that we reviewed just recently is the Mary and May SPF 50 Plus PA++++. This one is a chemical sunscreen, but I believe it's a hybrid. Just looking at the ingredients, there are some physical uh, blockers as well as some chemical blockers in there. So nice little hybrid there would sink. At the time, I think it was the highest sunscreen rating that I had given for a sunscreen. Um, it comes with 50 milliliters worth of product, which is standard. I also really liked that it's not hard to find. You can find this everywhere. It's very easily accessible. So how did I come to these ratings? Line them all together, I kind of looked at how much I was willing to pay for sunscreen. I looked at the overall brand, I looked at the packaging, I looked at the ingredients, I looked at all these kind of things. Ingredients can make a product pricey, packaging can make a product pricey, conversion can make a product pricey. But what's worth it for me is you know, the value that is providing. So I use that, and this is just my opinion of these products. You can use this equation or not and develop your own opinion about sunscreen. But personally, I think a sunscreen with 50 milliliters shouldn't cost any more than $20, in my personal opinion. That's kind of what I'm gonna be using as an average to guide me when I'm making my other decisions to, to see how much like they cost and stuff like that. I am a chemical sunscreen lover, but I know that a lot of people love physical sunscreens for obvious reasons. I did reluctantly get my hands on some physical sunscreen, so stay tuned for those reviews coming up shortly. Otherwise, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and got something from it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts on these sunscreens? Have you tried them? Will you be trying them? And how do you make your decision on what is the best sunscreen for you? I would love to know. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely, beautiful humans in my next video. Bye!